Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. If you are new here, like and subscribe to the channel for future content. This just keeps getting better and better for Rotten Tomatoes. Over the last 12 or so hours, they have re they have taken away 54,000 user reviews, which hasn't really affected the audience score, which is quite funny when you think about it. So, with this user review, it was down to 31% uh, yesterday when I made the video, and it had 58,500 user ratings. And at the moment, it's currently sat at 52% for the audience score with user ratings of 28,742, with the certified fresh down to 79%. So, even with them getting rid of 54,000 reviews, the movie is still down on path to what everyone thought it would do. But the interesting thing is here, is like we've all been looking, and obviously, you know, like, oh, Rotten Tomatoes, a Disney connection, but obviously, Rotten Tomatoes is operated by Fandango and owned by them, but Comcast Universal and Warner Brothers are the ones who own Fandango. But I didn't know any of this. People may have noticed and known this for a couple of uh, years or whatever. But Rotten Tomatoes is actually run by a former Disney employee. Which I didn't know that. I thought Disney had some kind of connection. But again, I, th I when I first heard, I thought Disney actually owned Rotten Tomatoes. But they didn't. But seeing that it's actually run by a former Disney employee, that just says it all. It's absolutely crazy that Rotten Tomatoes have done this. It's almost like they've gotten in touch with the ex-Disney employee and gone, oh, you need to get rid of this, you need to get rid of this now. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. It's ridiculous why they think that they need to do this just to save one film. It's, again, I think it is all to do with Disney's agenda because why would you get rid of 58,000 reviews it's, again, people saying, oh, we look on Rotten Tomatoes, then we judge to see about the film. Just go and see the film. For all we know, those 58,000 people could have been genuine reviews. Because it's been out roughly worldwide for two, maybe three days. But you got people here saying, oh, look at, Cap you know, look at Captain Marvel, 58,000 people use her reviews. Well, only 52,000 people saw Avengers Infinity War worldwide, because that's how many user ratings there is. Not everyone who goes to the cinema or the theatre goes on Rotten Tomatoes to leave their score. No one does that. But people are making, taking a stand against Captain Marvel. And these people will look at it and think, you know what? I'm going to fucking say what's going on with this film, you know? This may have turned you know, turned the tide for them to be like, you know what, Brie Larson has said some stupid shit, and I'm going to judge the film for myself. Then you know they they probably felt compelled to actually go on to Rotten Tomatoes and see, you know what, I never actually liked this film. I thought it was okay, but you know, this is it. I saw it today with my niece, and to be honest with you, I didn't care much for the film. Ben Mendelsohn. Sam Jackson, they're all good. I love Annette Benning in it. She is absolutely incredible. I've always loved Annette Benning though. So, any film she's in is great to me. However, Captain Marvel is poor. I do have a video coming out later today with my actual review about it. So, you can check that out and see what's going on with my review of Captain Marvel. But with all this, it's one of the worst things they've ever done, to be honest with you. They've got a wooden actress who has been good in other films, but when it comes to a film like this, she is not suited for it. 100%. Brie Larson is not suited for an action role. And if she is going to be the future of the MCU, God help him, because she's not going to carry the films. She can't. But, we well, yeah, going back to Rotten Tomatoes and how they're going on about it, yeah, this is just a bunch of shit. All of it is. Because at the minute, you know, standing at 52%, I look at that and I'm thinking, yeah, all right, whatever. It's no way, you know, nowhere near that.
because it's not. It's absolutely rubbish. So, but again, if you have seen Captain Marvel, please leave your uh, response on Rotten Tomatoes so they can know and see what's actually going on with this film. So, but, yeah, if, if people need to be seen and need to be heard. But with all of this, what I think is absolutely funny as anything... Rotten Tomatoes, they have actually claimed it was a bug. That user ratings for pre-release were factored into the post-release audience score. However, this contradicts their previous statement and reasoning that the want to see score is different than the audience score. So, with Rotten Tomatoes saying that, it's not exactly right, is it? They're just looking at it and, to be honest with you, they're trying to save face. If you are new here, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell... And we'll see you soon.